Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with us. My name is Nicole with MorningChores.com and today we're gonna to take you along as we clean out the garden for the fall and winter season. The first step in cleaning out your garden is removing all of the dead plants, including all the debris. This is really going to help us do the following steps, but it's just going to ensure that we get all these things out so that we have a clean slate next spring. When I'm removing the plants, I try to shake as much dirt from the roots as possible because that dirt's valuable to me. I've put a lot of time and money in building up that dirt and I can use it in next year's plants. Because we do the back to eating garden method, pulling things out is very, very easy because the soil is nice and loose and workable. This is always kind of a sad part of the year for me, cleaning out the garden, just because we work so hard to grow things in here and it's a little bit bittersweet, but I also get excited for the upcoming growing season and all the possibilities of next year. Once you have the garden cleaned out, the next step is laying down manure. I'm using chicken manure here from our own chickens, but this is a really vital step because it's going to add good nutrition back into that soil. If you don't have animals yourself, you can always get some type of manure from friends, family, whoever it is, make sure it's a good source, that they're not only taking care of their animals, but they're feeding them the right kinds of foods. And I spread this very thinly around, but once I started adding manure to my garden every fall, this was a huge game changer for me. I really noticed a vast improvement in my fruits and vegetables and growing them in the next season. Once I've dumped enough piles around the garden, I usually take a rake and just spread it really thinly across the soil and try to get it as evenly as I can. And the last step is covering your garden with wood chips. If you've been following the channel, you know that we are huge advocates of the back to eating garden method. And in this method, you always keep the soil covered, in this case with wood chips. I like using wood chips because they're readily available and they break down very nicely and they keep the soil well protected from the elements, from erosion, they keep the soil workable and you don't have to water as often. And the big, big bonus is weeding is more manageable, which is my favorite. If you're not sure where to get wood chips from, the best place to start is calling local tree service companies. They usually have lots of wood chips on hand and they'll either give them to you for free or charge a small fee for them. You can also call your local electric company because they have to keep their power lines maintained using tree service companies. And a lot of times they'll let you know when they'll be working in your area. If these options are not useful to you then you can always go to a landscaping company but if you do purchase wood chips this way make sure they are chemical and dye free hauling wood chips is quite a workout so definitely count this as your exercise for the day because hauling these back and forth really gave me a workout and it just felt good to get outside and get some physical activity into my day Once I have my wood chips in the garden, I like to take a rake and spread it out as evenly as possible, covering every inch of the soil. I like to keep it pretty thick, around five inches thick roughly, just because over the winter the wood chips will settle and it won't look as thick as when you put it on. So I kind of like to do it extra thick. But what I love about putting the wood chips on is it just gives your garden a clean slate so that it's ready to go for next spring.
thank you so much for joining us in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can also head over to morningchores.com where you'll find all kinds of information on homesteading, gardening, DIY, and much, much more. Hope you have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.